What's going on, everybody? You already know what it is. Xavier Porter back in effect. Shoot the five. We live direct in the building. Happy New Year to everybody. We appreciate all the love, all the support. Everybody out there watching, tuning in. Um, today, we, as you know, we always bring some 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 good vibes to the show. We always bring some good people to the show. And we like to expand the minds of everybody out there that's watching. So today I wanted to bring a young man on the show. I actually brought a young man on the show that I met um it was about two, three years ago, maybe? Four, 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 okay, four about, years ago. Damn, showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> um, we met at a business function. His name is Kendakar. Got to make sure I can pronounce it right. Kendakar Ahmed. Yep. Gotcha. I'm going to just call you K. Yeah, K. That's, that's what people call me. <laughs> I'm over here, you know, trying to get it out. But, yeah, we met at a function a couple years ago, and... um. What enlightened me, what, what, what enlightened me to what this young man was doing at the time, we met when he was in high school, yeah. and um, as you can see, he's not in high school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but him and his friends, they started a company in high school that was that was basically based around tutoring kids and things of that nature. The company has been successful, and and Kendaker has gone on to do a lot of amazing things outside of the company that he started in high school. So I wanted to start with that piece, and then we're going to branch off and go to everything else that you've accomplished thus far and what your, your current goals and future goals are. Yeah, for sure. All right. So take us to take us back when, you know, back in the days, I should say, <laughs> when you and your guys created this program. Tell everybody what the program was and what's the name of it and things like that. Yeah, for sure. F to be honest, like um, – at first, we just wanted to make money. Like, we, were, we, were, we were high hey, school students. Be, be and, honest, right? <laughs> yeah, be honest. Like, we wanted to make money, and it was some, uh, like, we went to, like, a. we all came from, like, a low-income community, like, and also, like, our family members weren't that, like, successful or anything. So, like, we needed that money. So, it was like, yo, why don't we just start mm -hmm. something where we could have, we could gain some money and, like, we could make some money. But then we realized, it's like, it's not about the money at that time when we were start working with the kids, right? It was like most of them were like coming from low income community, like had like single parents and all those kind of stuff. And we just realized, damn, we are we're doing something good, like mm -hmm. here, like we're giving back to the community and like it's not about the money anymore. It's about like the impact that we are having, right? So like after a few months and that's when it hit us, it's like why don't we turn this into a business, mm. right? And why don't we, like, support, like, our community, support that, like, community that we grew up in, mm -hmm. like, you know? And not enough work is being done. Like, you know, if you think about, like, um, the black community, the brown community, it's like, mm -hmm. it's, we don't give them enough resources. Like, all the resources goes into, like, higher ups and like who have the money like mm -hmm. you know who have the money to pay for it so that's when we decided to like we're gonna start this tutoring service to support those youth um and we kind of like partner up with like different organizations so they were able to sponsor some of those tutoring services so like sometimes students didn't have to pay or the parents didn't have to pay mm -hmm. and like we made sure that our service was a lot more cheaper that than like what was out there like you know and even we provided like scholarships to like our tutors who are like kind of going into the um schools and and the um places to teach we gave them um scholarship because a lot of them were college students nice. so we had to make sure that while they're getting paid but they are also being supported um from our organizations because that's the community we create it's all about the community you know yes I like the way you, I just love the way you just broke that down. <laughs> now the name of the organization was uh, Kids Ivy Tutors. Yeah, Kids Ivy Tutors. Okay, and it's an educational educational organization with the mission to teach future of education by connecting passion, mentorship, twenty first century skills. Yeah. Um, sponsoring in demand skills, court, and some of the courses are free of charge to the school. Yes. So right now we we kind of like did did a whole new branding because okay. we realized that. Um, currently the way future of work like you know where we are heading it's not only about the academic anymore you know okay. it's 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 about the skills that are coming up like you know the soft skills um being emotional intelligence being um like communication marketing all those kind of skills matters 
to like get the right job or to get the to work even if you want to start a, a business right mm -hmm. you have to learn those skills to like be successful and that's how we kind of shift it to provide so we are building a curriculum around like whole child so it's like a six component talking about like mental health um the skills 21st century mm. skills um then different way of learning so you have like youtube you have like videos you have like social media then you have like hip-hop education so we're trying to bring all those together mm -hmm. and we're building this curriculum so make sh we make sure that we are culturally relevant to our students okay. like you know if you're going into a low-income community like a lot of them knows like hip-hop like you know a lot of them knows like kenrick j cole lil uzi like you know that's the oh, vibe <laughs> <laughs> that's the vibe so we yeah. try to make sure that our curriculum is relatable t to them like okay. you know so they are engaging they're interested they're happy like you know mm. they want to learn but right now what we see in education it's it's like it's just like in 150 years nothing has changed it's like mm. you just go into class you do your work they give you homework and you just do the recycle again like nothing has been changed but if you look at our phone mm -hmm. like you see like before we used to had that big phone like yeah. then we went to flip phone then now we have like a smartphone mm -hmm. like you see like the changes happen in uh technology but in education it's still the same and we need to change that and that's 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 my goal um with kids ivy tutors and that's why our mission is like re reimagine education we need to evolve because mm. we haven't been evolving wow okay <laughs> i think i just woke up and learned something <laughs> now the organization comprises of you and your, your um Two, two, two of your buddies from, from school, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, but they, they end up leaving the okay. company. Um, they had to focus on, um, uh, like, their goals and their missions, yeah. what they wanted to do, do in the future. So it wasn't, like, aligned with their goals and stuff. So yeah. they end up leaving. But right now, currently, I'm the only one that's kind of, like, going at it. Okay, so in a sense, in a sense, you're, you're in a sense, you're, the C you're a CEO. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. Make sure they can hear you in the mic. Right. So you gotta say I'm a CD. I'm a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm the CEO. Yeah, you could you know? say that. Yeah, for okay. sure. Now, um, you you worked with over two thousand students. Yeah, we we um we served over like uh, uh about two thousand students. Yep. Okay. How, now working with the students, and like you said, they're all from the inner city. Yep. How was that? How was that experience been? Wow. <laughs> you know, you know, one of the craziest moments I was just talking to um, some of my um, friends um, that I have seen students that's students, parents who's like making millions of dollars. Then I also worked with students who who were like homeless like a few days ago. Like, wow. you know, like there's so much variety of students that I've seen through my work. And it's just I just realized like it's so different with mm -hmm. the different students that you work with so that's why our goal is using that culturally relevant curriculum like you know because um few weeks ago we did a workshop and all of them were like um black like you know mm -hmm. almost so it was like 15 of them and all of them were black and one of one of the students told me yo like you know what i what i don't see like i don't see people like me doing like great things right okay. um and that's but there are people that's doing great stuff like you yes. know but we are just not bringing that resources to them we are not kind of like bringing we are not showing them what's happening like mm. you know and that's what we need to do we need to start making sure that they see barack obama they see like um i don't know if you heard about that um the robert guy who gave a scholarship to Morehouse. Robert Johnson, yeah and um I believe that's his name robert johnson yeah something billionaire billionaire, billionaire yeah. yeah like we need to show those people mm -hmm. like you know because that's something they could look up to that's something that looks like them that's mm -hmm. some things that looks like me i could connect to like you know mm -hmm. so that's what we need to do and that that's what i've been seeing with these a lot of these students it's like they don't have that mentorship okay like you know um they don't have those resources and often time it's like we are pushing them to do work they don't love mm -hmm. like you know we are pushing them towards something they have no passion for gotcha 
and a lot of them they want to do something they they love like you know mm -hmm. so that that's what i have been seeing with a lot of these students and our goal is to like like i'm you mentioned that it is about the passion and that's what we are trying to build that's the reason why you're utilizing different aspects of um how should i say different aspects of things that the youth kind of take into like you said the music um sports and things like that you're using yeah. different different tools to re to reach the goal yes for the individual who actually wants to reach the goal but doesn't they don't they don't they may not know how to yes or they don't have the um they don't have what i should i say um what's already in place it doesn't motivate them it yes. doesn't push them yeah. like you like you mentioned it's a repeated process of 100, 150 years of education nothing's really changed except books are being given out if yep. that if that you know if students are actually being given new books qualified books that actually teach what children want to learn and what's going to help them progress going forward in life yeah because as you mentioned everything is evolving everything is about change education definitely has to change also in order for the, the children our youth to get what they need to be in the future definitely you know um and also like one of the one of the heartbreaking thing is like when there's a cut in the budget mm -hmm. education is the first thing they yeah, cut yeah, like you know a, yeah and if you think about like if you look at the private schools right a lot of like these students pay like forty fifty thousand dollars mm -hmm. to go into these schools so why wouldn't they have like the best education right mm -hmm. why wouldn't they have like um the right resources because they have the money to pay for a lot of this but if you think about like a school in bed Stuy or a school in crown heights mm -hmm. It's totally different. Like, you know, they don't get that same budget yeah. as if you see someone in, um, like, Upper East Side, Upper yeah. West Side. Like, uptown, like, they get different budgets than downtown Brooklyn or, yeah. like, that kind of stuff. So that's why we need to create that equity, equitable access. Like, you know, um, because, like, oftentimes we, we all struggle with different ways, different mm. types of ways. And my like that's one of the things that we need to it's not about equal access it's about equitable access let me make sure i put that down because <laughs> <laughs> you know that's a I'm, I'm creating equitable access i like that that is really powerful let me make sure i type that in okay appreciate that yeah for sure <laughs> now we're gonna go to some of your accolades <laughs> So you've been, and I, and I highlighted this, but I also put it in bullet form too, because I wanted to pinpoint exactly what each brand that you've been highlighting and some of your work yeah, has been highlighted sure, and yeah. uh, what, it, what it was all about. So in looking at your bio, you've been recognized by um, Bloomberg, mm -hmm. Forbes, United Nations, Clinton Global Initiative, uh, ADECO, yep. City College of New York, Intuit. Zahn Innovation Center, Stanford University, International Young Leaders Assembly, and other major media platforms and organizations um, as a social entrepreneur in the and in the future of education. So, let me ask you this. What was it like being featured in some of these? I mean, yeah, these are some huge names. <laughs> Bloomberg. Yeah. That's the, 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 the news capital, like, you know, everything. Yeah. Forbes magazine is like the the richest of the rich. <laughs> <laughs> Stanford University is one of the top schools in the in, in the nation. Yep. And and you know, so what what was it like being featured in in some of these um organizations and platforms? It it was to be honest, it was like I had it was just like really I was emotional like you know when i first when i first saw um like my name was mentioned in the bloomberg article right mm. so it was, I, I, could, I i didn't know what to do like mm. I, first thing i did was like i showed it to my mom mm. but even though she had no idea what bloomberg was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and i showed it to her i was then i explained it to her what bloomberg is like and then like it's just like you see like the love sh like the excitement she had for mm. it and that's well, bloomberg that, is everything yeah you know, like for mm -hmm. business and like it's it's one of the big names, like mm -hmm. you know that you can be part of. So when when I tell her that and like when I what I saw like through her expression, mm -hmm. that 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 was everything for me. Gotcha. Like you know, um, because like that's that's what matters: family, friends, and like the impact. Like mm -hmm. you know, so 
it, these names is not what I care about the most. It's about like these names helping me get to my impact, like you mm. know, to serve the people, like serve my community, to mm. serve the youth. So that that's 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 the main thing for me. But it's you know, it's it's always good to have those mm-hmm. um, recognitions. Yeah. Um, what what was the Zion Inno- Innovation Center? What is so that? So Zion Innovation Center is a accelerator program. They support like um, entrepreneurship at City College. Okay. Um, so they have like a program where they pick like about twenty to twenty five um, like um, startups, right? And we do go through a competition. And then they give out money at the end, whoever wins the competition. And we won $25,000 through that organization to work on our um, startup, to develop it and like kind of take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. They gave us a lot of mentorship and everything. So it's a really great program to like learn about like the beginning of like startup. Like, you know, Mm -hmm. they help you develop, build and all those kind of stuff. So we went through the program like two years ago. And it was like a six month program. Mm-hmm. Um, we pitch in front of a lot of different investors, wow. a lot of different um, like people uh-huh. who kind of like gave us advice on like developing the company and stuff. Now, the Clinton Global Initiative University is that Bill Clinton? Or? It's Bill Clinton. Yes. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Can you talk, talk on that. Talk, yeah. Explain yeah, that. Yeah, that was actually that was actually one of I, I would say like one of the greatest like you know accomplishment for me um, because it's like. They pick thousands um, startup around the world, not even like a nation, but mm-hmm. around the world, who, who are like college students just graduated, working on a social impact um, mm-hmm. work. Like you know, and we were in education, and we applied. We didn't know like we were gonna get it. Like mm-hmm. you know, um, so three months later, we get an email, be like, "You have been accepted. Come down to." Um, so they flew us to um, Chicago. And we went to University of Chicago. They did mm. like a whole training. They bought a lot of speakers. We have in, we heard from the whole Blinton and Bill family. So it was like Hillary was there. Um, their daughter was there. Mm. Um, so it, w- it was just really amazing. Get to see them and like the support they have for us. So it's like and like. The, the community they created for us, mm-hmm. they're always there. They always email us. They always be like, hey, do you guys need any help? And, like, always there to support us. And that community and, like, you know, the network, like, Bill Clinton have. It's like, <laughs> it's like he basically know everybody, you mm-hmm. know. Um, so, like, using that network, w- it was, like, really helpful for us. Kind of, like, using that name was, like, um, it took us to different levels for sure. So a lot of these different organizations and platforms, these beautiful con- conglomerate groups, groups I should say, are they all similar? Like, like for instance, um, um, well, the United Nations is not similar to these. I'm just saying, <laughs> like the New York State Business Plan competition, that was like something a competition you took part of, right? Yeah, that's the competition. And in um, futures and options, what was that? Oh, so future and option, it was like a program that I was part of um, over over the summer. I mean, uh, during se- high school, okay. um, a senior year of high school, it was a internship program, but I kind of like build my relationship with like s- uh, executive director and mm. everything. And they love me now. And so that's why they always like kind of bring me to um, speak at some of their um um, events or even like do mentorship with some of the students mm-hmm. or even like bring our program to their students mm-hmm. um, so like that's some of the things that we have been working and they kind of like did like a feature about like a uh, for me about the work that I was doing in their website mm-hmm. and um, their magazine and stuff have you been featured on TEDx yet? well <laughs> it's in the works I gotta ask. I gotta ask. <laughs> it's in the works you it's see in the works. it's in the works <laughs> okay. it's coming it's yeah. coming so now, the fact that you just mentioned that a lot of these, 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 um, how should I say, these big time company guys, you know, um, these execs, I should say, they bring you out to speak to speak to their, their workers or their students that they're working with, things like that. Are are you see? Do you see yourself gravitating towards the lane of being a, a worldwide speaker? Yes, for sure. Yeah, okay. um, I've been invited to a few different. Um, 
like over over next few months i have like few different um speaking engagements i'm i'm flying down to las vegas in okay. july to talk about wow <laughs> okay go ahead <laughs> to talk about um whole child curriculum and okay. why is it important to implement throughout the nation and even it should be a global movement yeah. why it should be a global movement so i'm kind of like talking about that and mm -hmm. um so like it, it, it's exciting um but a lot of, like well, when you When you get invited to speak like that, like to like different states and stuff, it mm -hmm. takes a lot of time, a lot of work, like, yeah. you know, because you fly out there and you speak for like one hour and then you out again. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a lot of um, it's, it's tiring. But, yeah, I definitely look forward to doing a lot of more events like that because it's, it's all about like, you know making sure everybody knows like okay. you know what's happening what we need to do and like what we need to do to prepare our youth for the future of work like you know because they are gonna be the part of mm -hmm. our future generation like you know they're gonna build like what we like kind of like gave them okay you know and they're gonna innovate from it and they're gonna like innovate like different ideas different stuff mm -hmm. like you know and we need to make sure that we are preparing them the right way okay are you currently in school now are you are well i graduated <laughs> this did, may where did you congratulations thank you where did you graduate from um city college of new york How i was that? it was great um <laughs> I, 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 I it was a lot of work there yeah. um definitely like I, i i graduated in three years mm. i tried to i did a fast um accelerator program accelerator mm. program yeah um so it was fun it was busy and then um Throughout throughout the college life, it was a lot hard because I was I was focusing on my startup. Then also I was doing classes, so I was like sleeping like only five six hours mm -hmm. or even sometimes four hours. And I was traveling from Brooklyn all the way to Harlem. Yeah, it was like two hours yeah, commute. Yeah, because it's only yeah, so, yeah. So it's yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, it was tough, <laughs> but it was a fun experience. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to create my own major, so I, I did product management. And um, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you said you created your own major. Yeah. How big is that? You create like you said. Hey, I'm gonna do this, and y'all gonna co-sign this. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's basically happened. So it was, it was like, a, it was like wow. a program, and I was like, yo, you know, I because I changed my major four times. It was like, okay, it, it like it wasn't really hitting me. Like, you, you know, none of you. the general um, education, like you know. So I wanted to do something different. So like, you you went to school for education. I went to school for computer science. For computer science. So you went for your bachelor's in computer science. Yeah. And you. so when you got there, you, you saw First that. week, I'm done. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Okay. So then you tried to go into another major. Yeah. That wasn't hitting. That, that was wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. Like, it wasn't connecting. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Then I went to another major, yeah. which was economics. Okay. Um, And then I was like, man. Like, no, I can't do this. Yeah. Like, this is not, like, me. Yeah. And um, so then I, I was doing some research, and I just realized, all right, I was, if I'm able to create my major, I kind of, like, choose the classes that I want to take, and I did that. And, and you presented it to the school? I presented it to the school, and um, there was, like, an application process. I did all of that, and we went through, like, an interview. They kind of, like, asked me question, wow. why is it going to help you and everything. So... And like I explained it everything to them and it was it was great. Hey man, I salute you and applaud <laughs> you. That is impressive. That is amazing that like you 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 went to this you went to school and you like, hey, this is not working for me. I'm not feeling this right here. You tried another lane, another yeah. lane, and you tried another lane. But to think but the to put the idea together to say, you know what? Let me go about it this way. Like, like to put the idea together, say you know what I can create. You like you said, you researched it. Yeah. You, I don't, I don't want to say Google, but you checked it out. <laughs> <laughs> and you said I can create my own, my own, um, my own major. Yeah. And you put everything you needed to do to present it to the school for the school to say, okay, we're gonna we're gonna rock with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna rock with you on this. You and, know. And and let me. So with that being said. Is the major named after you? Do you got a place on the wall somewhere in the school? <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically individual, right? Mm -hmm. um, if anybody want to pick my major, they definitely can. Uh-huh. 
Um, <laughs> yeah. So they definitely can. Um, so that that's what we kind of w- did. Yeah. So um, and like if anybody wanna definitely wanna pick my major, they can. Okay. Um, so it's and the name of the major is um, product management. Product management and okay. um, social entrepreneurship. Social entrepreneurship. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. And the curri- you put the curriculum together. I put the curriculum oh, damn, together. Yeah, man. <laughs> 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 and you said you graduated three years? I'm yeah. Just, yeah, right. <laughs> you probably graduated the first year you got there. <laughs> wow, no, nah, that's impressive. That yeah. is really impressive. You know, my, my 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 goal was never about like, you know, I need to get like I need to study something like yeah. general, like, you know, study the best thing out there. Like study something that's um that like gonna give me money. Like, you know, I wanted to yeah. study something that I'm passionate about, like, you know? Um, that can actually help me build my startup. What is it again? Product? You said product? Product management and um, social entrepreneurship. Uh, social. Because I'm going to go look at this. You know, <laughs> for real. This is amazing. Like, this is really, that is truly amazing. People wouldn't think that, you know, because, you know, you know, you go to school and people give you this. It's like you're in a restaurant, right? Yeah. And you go, you know, the restaurant serves whatever food, and you go on the you go into the restaurant to purchase your favorite food, and then they're gonna prepare whichever way they can, hopefully the best way possible for you. For sure, yeah. And then it's really on you whether or not you are gonna pay for it or not, or if you mm-hmm. gonna eat it and pay for it. And it's a similar with education. You go on to school, and this is what they have. There's no if ands around. It's like this is what they have, and you said no. You're gonna prepare my specialty. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Are you gonna make you gonna I'm matter of fact, I'm gonna serve you, I'm gonna give you the recipe <laughs> for my specialty that's gonna that's... serve everybody else to make your brand even better. Yeah. To make your restaurant even better. And then and, and I and I'm saying like, you know, what you did was you gave the school something where they can utilize to even grow and teach other for students. Sure, yeah. Because there, there's probably been a lot of students that came before you yeah, there currently. Is a, there's actually a program created for like these type of students yeah. inside City College, inside yeah. the CUNY. That's why I love CUNY so much, yeah. man. Like, it's just basically Harvard for poor people. Okay. Like, you know. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there is. But it's, it, you, it's it, yeah, yeah. I graduated um, depth free. Like, you know, okay. can you imagine like someone going into NYU or Harvard, like yeah. doing that? No, you have, you pay like fifty, sixty thousand dollars uh-huh. um, per year. And like, you have like a half a million dollar debt by the time you graduate. Yeah. And like CUNY lets you like, there is, is the biggest, um, so CUNY is the biggest um, community, uh, city school, like, you know, city community yeah. school. And they, Almost every student graduates like without debt free, like you know, mm. go to school for free. I mean, I need to go back to CUNY. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> can, can, can you imagine that? Like yeah. you know, like so. And a lot of the students are like coming from really low income community, yeah. like really low income families, and like CUNY's giving them that opportunity. Like now, nah, graduate. Like you have. Like we are able to give you those resources and everything. So like I'm like really grateful that I went to CUNY because yeah. some of my friends are debt like yeah. forty, fifty thousand dollars already. Like yeah. you know, and if I gra- like I graduated debt free, like all the money I make is like for me now. Like yeah. you know, I don't have to pay towards any loan or anything. Mm-hmm. So that's 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 what matters. Like you know, you have to be like. So that's that's what our goal with Kids Ivy is. Like we had to make sure like all of our students like we build that bridge for them like you know they understand all this kind of stuff they understand this financial literacy aspect Mm -hmm. of college like you know so that way like when they get into college they understand what they need to do they understand and i learn from it and like my goal is to like share with my community so they learn from it too very resourceful you know very resourceful you utilize everything that they had and you created more out of the out of the pond out of the well yeah you know you make sure you got the gold (laughs) <laughs> it was, you knew there was gold there. Yeah, you made yeah. sure you got some of it. I'm, congratulations. Very, very thank great you, job. Thank you. Thank you. Now, so we done got past all that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get to the question question part of the the, the, the uh, interview. All right. Sounds good. Now, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yep. Okay. And um, 
Were you born in the United States? Or? No, I I grew up in um, so I was I was in um, Bangladesh for like eight years. I I came here like in um, about ten years. Then I came here uh, in twenty ten. Okay. Why? I'm just <laughs> no. I could, I could answer I'm that. just teasing. Good, but yeah, cool. <laughs> it, it was actually like um, family reason. So my yeah. dad been sick for 16 years, oh, and okay. this is the only country that has like the treatment for it. Mm-hmm. So um, that's why we had to move down here. Gotcha. And, um, yeah. So tell us about your childhood growing up in the United States and Bangladesh. Yeah. Uh, well, so. Because you said you came in, you moved here when you was two thousand in, in two thousand ten. I was about like eleven or twelve. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, it was it was it was tough for me. It was like definitely different culture. Like you know, um, it was a lot more open here, like mm-hmm. than um Bangladesh. Bangladesh is like you. Um. It's like it's a like there is a different culture. Like you know, mm-hmm. um, here it's like a lot more open, a lot more. Um, you get a lot more opportunities for sure, mm-hmm. and um. So it was it was tough for me because like I didn't understand English at all. Okay, okay. And uh, so I I got bullied in middle school. Okay. And all those kind of stuff. So that was tough for me. But um, then like within two three years, I kind of like caught up, and I was like, all right, I I got it. I got to make shit happen. Like yeah. you know, that's when I went to high school, and we, uh, that's when I became like part of this culture. Like you know, I beca- I, I ca- now I could say like I'm American. Bangladesh, like yeah. you know, Bangladesh American, like so that's that's so like high school year was like my pain yeah. point. Like, you break it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm gonna get it in. This year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for like, sure. Like when I'm about to be 18, I'm about to wild out this year. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure, yeah. Okay, what, we, what, did yeah, we did wall out. We did wall out. We did wall out. Was the was the music? Was the girls? What was it like? You something had to influence you to break out. <laughs> it was the music, man. Okay, I got you. Definitely, hip hop was like. <laughs> And I so, I so, so Biggie was like my one of my uh, motto, like you know okay. I used to listen to Biggie all the time, like and um, so because I was from Bedside, everybody knew everybody knew Biggie, everybody mm-hmm. talked about Biggie. So it was like if you didn't know him, it was like you're not from gotcha. Brooklyn, you're not from Bedside, you're not part of the culture, like gotcha. you know. So um, <laughs> hip hop was like my main like outlet. Yeah, my main outlet. That mm-hmm. it was like a supportive outlet for me, okay. basically. Okay, that's cool, man. All right. Um, so you grew up in Best Star. Biggie was your go to, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? And are you planning to go back for your masters? Or are you in school now? No, I'm actually not thinking of going to masters. Okay. Um, because of like I feel like um with with my business I actually like have like master course. Like, you know, um mm. All right, big dog. <laughs> okay, I see what you say. You're like, I don't need masters because I got my business. So my business is that would be going for my masters. Yes. Okay. That your business would replace the education. What you're basically saying out what he's basically saying to everybody is his business that he's already developed and created from high school yeah. to now, as well as creating a whole new a whole new um um major so your degree was in that major, correct? Yeah. So he created a whole new degree also, not just a whole new major, but he got a degree that wasn't even in the, in the school itself. So he created a degree, created his own major, has his business. So going to school for his master's kind of round out everything, but you're already doing it with your yeah, business. Yeah, with my business. Because I want, if I go to master's, I'm going to do MBA, like, you know, my yeah. business. But like building a business is like what what can be better than like building a business mm-hmm. than like going to school i'm going to be in debt like it's yeah. expensive like you know i don't want to be in debt i want to build my business and that's where i'm going to learn everything like you know because mba they're going to teach about like how to build a business how to talk to people yeah. how to connect with people but i'm doing that already like you know and 5 years ago how did we meet uh-huh. is through that connection through, yeah, like you know me, yeah so that's what I'm doing already. Like, why do I need to go back to school? That's that's gotcha. my point of view. Yeah. Um, but there's a it lot. It could of, be right. It could be wrong. It could wrong, be right. But, or but that's could, what you yeah, feel that's, comfortable that's, with right that's, now. That's that's yeah. what what my goal is Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. Yeah. Because I was gonna, I was me personally. I'm a guy that um, I'm big on education. I applaud everything you do because <laughs> I would have never thought about creating a whole new degree and getting a whole new whole new major and all that. Um, I I. I was a person that really didn't like school growing up. 
I mean, I loved school growing up. I just didn't like being in class. Yeah. I should say that. <laughs> um, and then when I got out of school, I did, I did not see myself going to college. I really didn't see myself going back to school. And then I ended up, I ended up actually going back to school because I was thinking what's the best thing to do is to go get a certificate in a program. Mm -hmm. Not realizing that a certificate in a program doesn't last as long as your actual education and being in a classroom setting or and, and you know, with your, your professor and your other cohorts and your classmates and things like that, whichever term you want to use. And then from now, I realized once I got my bachelor's, I, I already immediately had in my mind that I was going to go forward and go get my master's. So utilizing all those, everything that I learned in the classroom, I'm basically, you're already doing it with your business, whereas I'm utilizing it now with trying to create my own business yep. with this podcast, with um, getting ready to um, um, open and deliver my own website. Yeah. Um, and a lot of other things that's around that as well, my public relations work and things like that. That's why, I'm, that's why I applaud you because you're already putting already the effort there. You know what I'm saying? I would encourage you if you get the opportunity and say, "Hey, maybe I can take some courses and learn this <laughs> and learn that." Because you you can always do that. Yeah, you I know? mean, you may not have to go back to school school per se, but there's always going to be some things that you can learn in the classroom. Learning is yeah. like it's a lifelong job, Absolutely. like you know. Um, so you like I learn every day. Like yeah. I'm learning from you right now, and uh, like you know, so that's that's that for me is like. That that's it, like you know. Yeah. That's like I read a lot of books. I, I was gonna ask you what's your favorite book too. I was <laughs> gonna ask you, but I'll let you get, finish your statement. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> so that and then also like um, I watch a lot of like YouTube videos. I I watch a lot of like TED talks, like you know. Gotcha. Um, and then I I I follow a lot of like LinkedIn um, influencers, mm -hmm. like a lot of like the big names, um, and I kind of learn from them. Say that again, LinkedIn. Oh, to be honest, like <laughs> LinkedIn is probably like one of the biggest platform out there for professionalism. Yes. Like, you know, and I feel like when you get into high school, you should have a LinkedIn. Like mm. that's you from there. You need to start from there. Like mm. I, I would even say like middle school, like, you know, eighth mm -hmm. grade, like you should start like linkedin and get on it and start posting and start talking about like start engaging with your community start engaging with the people like you know mm -hmm. it's it's that's what i in my opinion that's the future like you know mm -hmm. linkedin is gonna be the future how you get your next job or how you become like excel at your job mm. okay so I think it's it's really important LinkedIn. Like I've been so my my goal like I started like four or five months ago that I said that I'm gonna post every day on LinkedIn. Yeah. So I've been doing that. Like you rarely post on Facebook. Yeah, unless but, you're modeling somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, LinkedIn yeah. is like I post every day. Like yeah. and that's where like all my people are at like you know that's where that's where i grew my business like mm -hmm. you know using that like i got so much mentorship from there so like i grew my um followers from like 400 to um right now i think i have like about 3k okay like you know um so and he's a professional you know people these, like yeah. you know and uh I, linkedin for those who are out there may not know it's a it's the professional facebook per se it's the professional yeah. instagram it's where the professionals go to work with professionals because it's about business yep it's not about twerking in videos it's not about wearing you know bathing suits and whatever else it's not about rapping and smoking it's about professionalism and the growth of business and entrepreneurship yeah. and things like that I would also say that um, one thing that I've been seeing a lot in LinkedIn right now is like being yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, um, that's what matters a lot. Like that's being genuine going to get you like a lot more famous, a lot more like popular mm -hmm. when you post something than like if you're trying to be like force it. Gotcha. Like, you know, um, so like I Sometimes I curse on LinkedIn <laughs> on I post and stuff. Yeah. Um, sometimes I don't, but it's just like it's definitely matters like how like who you are like you know. Um, so that's that's what I kind of put uh, try to portray on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and I think like you should like always be yourself like if when you're trying to be on LinkedIn okay. because 
a lot of time people know when you're faking it like yeah. you know so that's when like you don't want to lose that like you know um because it's a huge platform you don't know who's watching yeah. could be like your next boss watching your posts yeah. like watching your videos and stuff so um definitely gotta be you listen to a lot of gary v i can see <laughs> I actually I can tell you probably listen to him. We actually brought Gary V to our campus. Wow. Yeah, we tutored at him for 2 years yeah. and we we tell him like you need to come to our campus yeah. like and everything. So we kind of like got him to campus and he had like a talk. He gave a talk at the campus. Yeah, so okay. that was fun. Okay. All right. All right. So So I mean, I asked certain questions. I got a lot of answers here. Um uh, I was because I was gonna say, are you still in school or what are you studying? But you, <laughs> you, you, you study in your business. <laughs> um, let's see. You already explained. You know when you develop the passion for the education and better in the education for the youth coming behind you. Um, you already discussed when you, you know, decided or when you realized that it was important in life to build these meaningful connections and relationships with you know professional yeah, execs yeah, and things yeah. like that. Um, now you traveled abroad. Yeah. You've traveled a lot. Yeah. 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 For the past few, t two yeah. years, yeah, it's been a lot. Mm -hmm. Like different cities, different um, countries, yeah. And these, and these were all for business. Some of them were business. <laughs> <laughs> so I went, to, I went to Cancun like uh, April, last April. Okay. And it was, it was basically f just to have fun, yeah. enjoy. But I went, I went to like um, Florida, then I went to um, Chicago, uh, I went to um, Argentina, um, all of those were business and school for sure. Yeah, yeah I see. I see. I see your, your trip in Florida. It was you and, a, and a, a, some other some other young, young men and women down there. And I knew it was a business trip. I think it was a. Um, it was a. It was a program. Uh, yeah. Through a deco, where um, okay. basically you you get to become a CEO for one yes, month. Yes, that's it. For for this Fortune 500 company, that was and dope. Yeah. It was, and it was like so <laughs> they get like 250 thousand application, uh -huh. and out of that they only pick like nine people. Yeah. And I was I was one of them, and like we went down there, we did a lot of competition. There was a lot of workshops. There was a lot of things. It was like a, so much growing, and basically we met like the whole executive team mm -hmm. and it, it was so dope and like i'm still in touch with them and um definitely like love like mm -hmm. that team and like what they're doing and i think that's what like you know w that's where we are going it's like having a lot more um youth centric um innovation okay. into these fortune 500 companies like where they're trying to bring youth to see like how can we like you know bring innovation what can we do yeah. to that and that program was definitely amazing let me ask you this have um now i know you're focused on you know your company and everything and making sure that your company is successful if if somebody were to offer you a position within one of their organizations, would you take it? Well, I'm working with Accenture at the moment. Okay, uh, okay. So it's, uh, I'm doing like um, marketing um, with them, and um, you said who? Accenture. It's like a the cell phone company. No, it's it's a um, consulting company. What's the name of it? Accenture. Um, it's like Accenture. a Fortune 500 company. So we work with like um, how you spell it? A C C E N A C E N T U R E. Accenture. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, it, it's a really great company. Like, their focus is um, on community, their people, and everything, and that's all I'm about. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I definitely wanted to start my journey there and um, definitely want to go. And I kind of, like, reached out to a lot of, like, the leaders there mm -hmm. so I could get mentorship for my startup because that's my goal. I want to go in full-time into my startup at a point, like, you know. Um, so um, my goal, so for me, it wasn't like, you know, uh, I need to make money or something. I need to build those right relationships. Yeah. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm here at Accenture working. It's, it's a great company. Mm -hmm. it, you, if you guys, anybody, like, kind of looking into um, – jobs and everything so definitely looking into extension it's, it's a great company your goal is to get your company to the top of the top where all these other companies are at for sure yeah <laughs> i, I, I want to so you could be hey hire this person hire that person yeah you see the vision from the top down from where that person can help your organization 
help out the youth in the inner city and things yes. like that. Got you. That's my goal. My goal is be the best education company out there. Like mm-hmm. you know, be the top. Uh, be be the be the thought leader for mm-hmm. education. Like you know, my if anybody want to talk about like education, they're gonna think about like, all right, kids Ivy mm-hmm. on the top. Like that's that's my goal. That's where I want to take. Like I believe, like in ten years, like the next decade 20 mm-hmm. 20 30 that's where i'm gonna be like okay. that's that's gonna be that's you said 2030 2030 cool <laughs> it's it, it's gonna be it's gonna be ken car um the education thought mm-hmm. leader like who we need to bring to change our culture change the education like you know yeah it's 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 gonna be like that's my goal mm-hmm. and that's i feel like i'm gonna be there i believe you're gonna be there and if you ain't gonna be there, you gonna be, you gonna change something to get there. <laughs> Whether it be, you gonna change somebody' company to get there, you know, change degrees and, and, and you know and majors, you gonna change something to get that, there. That's that's the For goal. Real, you know. So last but not least, is there anything you want to share with anybody? that I may not have asked you if there's something that you want to share to the people out there. Like, for instance, like definitely if they want to get in contact with you for yeah. maybe business meetings, for workshops, for speaking engagements. Yeah, for if, sure. If there's um, people that you want to say hi to out there, like family and friends, you know, <laughs> now's the time. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm grateful for Thank you for really um, inviting me. I'm, like, such a grateful. Thank you for coming because <laughs> you just taught me a lot of lessons. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That's like what We, we learn from about. each other. <laughs> like, you know, um, that's for sure. So I'm, like, really grateful and thankful for being here. And, like, everybody who's listening, you could always reach out to me. Like, um, you could add me on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, social media. Any social media is, is basically my name. The name going to be on the on the Yes. Uh, it's gonna be like, the tagline, yeah. Yeah, so you could you could add me, like reach out to me anytime, like email me. It should be like I'm a really open book on social media, so like all my information is out there. So like you could you guys could definitely reach out to me anytime, I, and I'm open to do a lot of like um, speaking engagement and like um, free workshops. Like I'll, I'll if if you want to do a workshop for your school or like. Um, and you tell me like you got it through here. It's free. Uh, I'm gonna give it for free, definitely. What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's what's up. All you okay, gotta say. Now. All you gotta New say. sponsor. <laughs> yeah. All you gotta say is the name. Be like, yo, I I saw your interview. I loved it. And like, uh, can you do a workshop for me? Yeah, for sure. I'm down. Like, hundred nice. percent free. And um, I'm there. Like, you know, my goal. So I I decided I want to serve thousand students. Um. This year, uh, you want to do what with them? Thousands. I want to serve thousands. Oh, oh, you want to serve a thousand students? Yeah, okay. I want to serve thousand students. So, mm-hmm. um, and I'm, I'm. How I'm many gonna, have you served so far? Well, we just started okay. um, <laughs> this year, so we haven't like. Um, there's some um, like organizations that we have been working with, trying yeah. to set up some times and everything. So yeah, like um, there's going to be a lot of work being done. Um, so if you are interested, definitely hit me up. Um, I'll do the work for free for sure. Okay. Like so, like Kendrick said, you can meet you can reach him on all social media platforms. Um, his information, his email, will be all within the bio of the interview, and his website will also be listed as well. So, we appreciate everybody tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> um, we we definitely got a lot of information today, a lot of a lot of educational gems. Um, I'm I'm still in awe at the fact that you 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 said you know what. City College of New York, I'm taking this over, <laughs> and I'm going to create my own degree and my own major. I, that's amazing. You know, that's that's beyond entrepreneurship. That's that's taking control of your destiny. Yeah, you know, man. And a lot, like I said, a lot of people don't understand that you. we all have that power within us, but we don't tap into it. Yeah, for you sure. Know, you know and what I'm saying? You just got to build yourself, like, you know, um, you just all... You, one thing I always care about is like how I'm gonna grow or how I'm gonna learn, mm-hmm. and it's having that learning mindset kind of like keeps me like always humble and like always like um, I'm like determined to like I what can I do next to yeah like grow myself like you know okay we're gonna come back to y'all soon enough stay tuned stay locked in later y'all shoot the five Xavier Porter appreciate everybody tuning in make sure you hit the like the subscribe button drop your comments below. And follow the new the new the new sponsor. <laughs> Let's go. CEO Ken, Ken DeCur from Kids Ivy Tutor, man. Appreciate Yo. you coming through, man.
Thank you, man. All Thank right. you for having me here. All right. See y'all soon. All right, Peace. Later, guys.